In this video, I will look into one of the online MBA programs, Power MBA, that promises you a unique understanding of business and knowledge that should help you accelerating your career, launching or even scaling your business to the next level, all for a minimal investment of time and money compared to the traditional business schools. But first, let's mention that this video is not sponsored in any way. This is just my honest opinion on one of the new trends in digital education space. I'm not paid by Power MBA or affiliated with them in any way. I just saw many edutech startups popping out lately with the MBA in their title. So I was curious, what is this new trend about? You might have a question, why should you even care about an online MBA programs? Well, in the world where MBA programs are closed, personal contacts are discouraged, online MBA programs are the only way how to get those credentials. But before we look into the Power MBA program, let me give you an honest opinion on the whole MBA industry. So stay tuned. In the past, MBA credit were in high demand due to its exclusivity. Management skills could only be gained by doing the job itself or by visiting a private highly expensive schools for the riches of the rich. Fast forward, those schools kept their exclusivity status and created a very profitable business selling their credentials for outrageously enormous fee. But even for its price, it was worth it. Whoever was a member of an MBA club had access to the top paid management positions. It was a vicious circle. Those who were in the top management, they already had an MBA. So if they wanted to hire someone new, a fresh MBA graduate would be their best bet. But not because they were the best candidates who could earn companies the millions, but because there was a guarantee that they achieved something extraordinary in their lives. If you look at the admission process of the top tier universities, such as Harvard or Oxford, they tell you upfront that you have to be rich enough to be able to pay hundreds of thousands in tuition, living expenses and missed opportunities included. And you have to also be the best in the world category, best athlete, best singer, best esport player, you get the idea. It shows that you have dedicated all your life to some cause and it doesn't matter if you are a good manager or a business person. Just getting the stamp was enough to become a CEO or CXO in a Fortune 500 company in a few years of time. Now, there are many documented cases where those MBA graduates replaced the top management, ruined the company and left with golden parachutes only to hop into another company doing the same mistakes. So if an MBA program does not make you a seasonal business person, what are the true benefits, the connections. You will know that every contact that you gather during the program will later turn into a gold mine. Most of your peers will be hired into CEO, COO or CIO positions and who knows, it might come handy one day in the future when looking for a job or when closing the deal. It's much easier to get a quid pro quo from someone who knew from the school. So the connections is the true value you are paying for. Is it the same case with online MBA programs? It's a good question and I hope to answer it in this video. But for now, ask yourself, are online connections worth the same? Will the person who you met online be as friendly as someone who you met in real life? I don't think so. Online MBA programs just does not have that sense of exclusivity. It feels anonymous. Schools such as Harvard knows it, but they cannot fight it forever. They have to remain the perception of an exclusivity, but at the same time make more money. So I bet they will come up with some kind of distance learning, charging the same money for the exclusive credential. But I think people won't share the same view. No one will be impressed with an online MBA degree, even if it's coming from a reputable university. So what do you get if not connect or reputations. The education? Well, that's questionable. It is known that MBA programs don't offer any secret sauce that you would not learn in a bachelor program of a, any random econ university. Most of the knowledge is just rehashed and polished, so it sounds exclusive, but in reality, it's not. You will learn tons of outdated frameworks someone came up with centuries ago. How is the obsolete knowledge of any help in the modern world where all industries are disrupted and new ones are born every day, such as esports, blockchain, or AI? With that said, let's look into this trendy online MBA program, Power MBA. Now I'll switch to the computer and we will look at their website. Now let's look at their website, thepowermba.com. Their main motto is take your business knowledge to the next level. And they claim that they are democratizing the business education and that they have world-class entrepreneurs, CEOs, and authors joining their program. And all of this costs 
15 minutes a day and $850 in installments. And they even offers a 100 money back guarantee, which is very bold. But I guess there are many conditions that you would have to fulfill in order to get your money back. It's always the same story. You sign for the service, but there are many hidden conditions written in the tiny letter in the contract. And if you are not aware of it, then they can reject your money back request. I mean, the message is clear. They want to give the education for everyone and get paid for that. Simple as that. And they are using the MBA keywords to position themselves against the traditional MBA schools. Okay, let's see what we have next uh, on the homepage. There seems to be the testimonials from various co-founders and they all agree to share the experience with the students. So I truly believe that there is some kind of a monetization scheme behind the Power MBA. I don't believe that any of these persons would give their knowledge or their time for free. And I'm surprised that they got uh, many CEOs and uh, big names in the industry on board, such as uh, CEO of the Whole Foods or Eric Ries, the author of The Lean Startup, one of the books that I read in 2018. I'm very curious what those people get from that. Maybe they believe in uh, democratizing of the online education or they just got paid for a short promo. Who knows? So I'll try to download their brochure and we will see if they can convince me in three minutes that their online program is worth to try. So now we get into the core content they offer. Their platforms offers an access to 250 15 minutes videos. So in total, they have uh, recorded 3,750 minutes of content or exactly 62.5 hours of the video content, which is not bad. I'm also surprised that they managed to get 45,000 students to enroll in their paid program. That only means that their marketing is on point. And here they represent four target customers who might be interested in their program. One aspiring entrepreneur who dreams about being their own boss and have their own side projects that cannot take off. And they sell you the idea that if you take this program, you will learn how to validate your idea, finance your project, build your team, and invest in marketing and much more. Which in fact, none of those skills will guarantee that your project will take off. I mean, if you want to be your own boss, you already your own boss. You don't work for anyone else. And if you do, you will work on your side projects in your free time. And just by being persistent and trying new things, you will get eventually the success. No online education program will force you to take actions and to take your projects to the next level. Other groups are restless professionals that have a very colorful backgrounds from architects, consultants, engineers, lawyers, HR marketing, they make you believe that you will understand more of your own business by going through the programs, which is hard to believe. Next, we have business owners and CEOs who are stuck in their own ways and want to learn how to innovate their business. Yes, this might be uh, actually a useful part of the online program because innovation is counterintuitive to the way how the business works. Because if you want to innovate, you cannot think of the profit. Those two things don't go well hand in hand. So yeah, for a person who is so set in their ways of working, actually using an innovation framework can help them to explore unknown areas. And lastly, they target the group of professionals who seeks to get the more knowledge and who wants to think out of the box. And here I can believe that Power MBA can be a great resource because they have many co-founders, founders and CEOs backing their programs. So for an average Joe who wants to get inspired by CMO of Airbnb, he could get his dose of inspiration from the Power MBA. Next, we have some references from students that already enrolled in the program. And of course, they have to show the most successful students that accomplished something in their lives already. And they might want to enroll in the program just to expand their knowledge. And all of these people seem to be uh, very highly positioned professionals. So I believe that this program helped them to get something they were looking for. So how does the Power MBA work? Their classes are short and focused, 15 minutes each. It is true that uh, you can get the idea in 15 minutes, but in 15 minutes, you cannot understand base fundamentals of any topic. So yeah, the 15 minutes is just good enough for getting an inspiration, but to get something in depth, it's not enough. They provide only practical and down to earth content, which is actually a positive sign. Sometimes you just need to believe in the 
a method and just go with it and eventually you will make progress by being persistent. The program covers all areas of traditional MBA and it's good that it's tailored to modern world. So there's a class on digital marketing and entrepreneurship. They also have inspiring business cases of different sites and industries, which is always interesting to read. And of course, they provide the content created by the CEOs and co-founders. So it might be interesting to someone who wants to get inspired by those people such as Mark Randolph from Netflix, Eric Ries and many more. And of course, they have to market that they also have some kind of a networking platform in place. They provide you with a place where you can meet, share or communicate with other students who enrolled in the Power MBA program. But the pictures from Meetup is from 2019. So who knows if it's true in 2020. Okay, let's look at the curriculum. First module is about business model innovation. You will learn business model and analysis, engines of growth, the power of platforms, segmentation targeting, value propositions, nothing really practical yet. Second module is about testing business ideas and lean startup. I guess this module was created by Eric Ries and it can be actually helpful for CEOs of very big companies to understand how to innovate their business. Model three is about strategy and business fundamentals. And from what I can read, those are just buzzwords on very general topic. So let's skip that. The module four is about power of being a digital marketer. And here, I guess you will finally learn something practical because to sell something nowadays, you have to market it online, either with uh, Google ads, Facebook ads or, or other ads platform. And you will be surprised how many CEOs and high profile managers don't know about the power of digital marketing. The module five is about entrepreneurship. And I see that there's nothing interesting to talk about. Module six is about leadership. This is the one of the modules that can uh, kickstart your management career because, uh, you know, leadership is learned by observation or by doing. But oftentimes when someone is put into management position and don't have the mentor or a role model for being a good leader, then he will make a lot of mistakes along the way. So I believe that by learning about leadership skills and practicing them in real life is much more valuable than ignoring the leadership altogether. Module 7 is about talent and organization and they have something called HR 3.0 and I wonder what this is about. Learn how to effectively structure your people function so that it can act as a true value partner to the business across all critical topics. Well, this is very broad descriptions telling me nothing about what the module is about. Organizational design and agility. Well, agile is a buzzword that is spreading amongst corporations like a cancer. So I understand that they have to include this into the curriculum. Model 8, finance and accounting. This is actually maybe one of the most valuable modules that it can provide because without finance, you don't get much far. For example, sometimes people confuse profits with revenues. So getting the grabs of the basic accounting principles is always, always useful for the future CEOs and co-founders. And finally, module nine is about disruptive tech in business, which is very trendy and hot area. And I guess they will include all the buzzwords that is trendy right now, such as AI, blockchain, or big data. And yes, you will learn about AI, big data, and blockchains, and how these technologies drive the business in the modern world. Well, all in all, I think that this is not that bad for someone who is lacking the business education. What I mean by that is, for example, engineers who studied nuclear physics and who got into management positions. Imagine someone who has an engineering degree. For example, he studied the nuclear physics and he was put into a management position. For him, this course could help him understand the business side of the operations and it might be valuable for him to grow the company further. So yes, for the managers who were promoted and who don't have the time to educate themselves, then this program might be useful and cheap. But for everyone else, aspiring entrepreneurs, people with side projects and even seasonal co-founders or founders, I don't believe this online program offers that much for its price. And before we end this video, let's take their test, an online survey that should tell me if the Power MBA is right program for me. So the first question is, what's your name? 
course, easy. Second question is, what's your last name? How old I am? I feel under 27, but let's put 27 to 36. Enter your email. Let's enter a virtual email because I don't want to get the spam from their marketing campaigns. What country do you live in? Sure, let's and uh, Czechia, what professional goals do you have? Well, I want to I want to take my company to the next level. What do you expect from the Power MBA? I will choose to reinforce my resume and my personal branding. And I don't accept privacy policy. Well, I guess I have to agree after all. I'll click submit and then I get access to their PDF brochure. And the sales page is very well done. There's a big call to action button. You can schedule a call with a living person. And they even tell you to enroll now, even though on their homepage, they claim that the waitlist is full. As the second step, they make you fill the survey so they can calculate your intelligence level. And finally, as a step three, you can download the PDF. So first, let's take the online survey. So which one I should take? So I want to take the test for entrepreneurs. Let's go. Statistics show that over 90% of entrepreneurs fail. Why? Because they are unprepared. They lack the skills they need to be successful. One thing before starting the test, we should clarify that it's completely different if you want to launch a startup versus traditional business model. But in the Power MBA, we prepare you for both. Power skill number one, you need a profound understanding of business in general and today's business model. So we can choose the right one. Yeah, obviously. Which two should you use to analyze and describe your project business model? Well, I will choose business model canvas because in business model canvas, you look at your business from different perspective. Business plan is just about having some projections and SWOT analysis is about just looking at some particle part of your business and comparing its uh, strengths and weaknesses. So I will choose C. Yes, of course, business model canvas is one of the most popular clearest tools. I agree. Every entrepreneur should know the BMC. It's a super powerful tool to create, visualize and test business models. Which model benefits the most from larger economic modes? I actually don't know what uh, the term means. So I just choose e-commerce. In a marketplace where your reach critical mass on the both side, the economic modes are huge. Okay. You need to be a real expert in marketing and sales. In other words, in growing your business. Do you know any copywriting methods that will help you to create ads, web copy, sales pitches, etc.? Yes, I do. Once you understand serious copywriting techniques, you can make any business grow. And guess what? Thousands of companies are getting this wrong. Targeting people that are looking for products like yours is going to help you amplify your market. Yeah. Sure. 99% of businesses focus on a small portion of the potential market, those who are looking. It's a mediocre strategy. Another obvious statement. You should learn how to amplify your market by targeting the huge blue ocean of people that are not looking for a product or service yet. Uh -huh. And how should I do that? You need to apply lean startup methodology so you can validate your ideas before taking unnecessary risk. Yeah, I agree. Fifth question. Building something nobody wants is the most common cause of death for new businesses. That's true. Most entrepreneurs fail because they build something that not enough people want, like Power MBA. You should go to market as soon as possible with product that you are ashamed of. It's called an idea of lean startup. And I agree that you should fail and fail fast. What kind of metrics guide us in the process of reaching product market fit? To reach product market fit, I believe, performance metrics such as as unit economics like conversion rates, retention rates, and CLTV are the most important. Sure, you have to focus on actionable metrics. By the way, in the program, you will learn directly from Eric Ries. Fantastic. It's harder to validate test hypothesis about value creation in service provider models, I guess. No? In marketplaces, you need to reach critical mass in order to start creating value. Huh. Didn't know that. Raising enough money to fund your products development and growth. You really need to understand your potential investors, their goals, what they care about, their investment criteria, what is the expected return a venture capitalist is typically looking for. I think venture capital is looking for 10x in four to six years. And I'm right. Getting ahead of the mistakes most entrepreneurs make. Imagine you want to make a business based on app. How would you start? Well, I will use standard tech that is available on the market. And true, 
it is time consuming to learn and develop your customized product. And it's much faster to just glue together a simple solution from accessible tools. So I answered seven out of 10 questions correctly. One last question. That's not bad at all. Do you want to understand business like the most successful entrepreneurs and business directors? Absolutely. Well then, Power MBA is for you. Of course, this is for me because I succeed in your questionnaire. Let's submit and I don't want to share Call. Well, it was fun. Now let's look at the PDF and the PDF looks like a PowerPoint presentation with a lot of slides and powerful messages. But for some reason, maybe because of the size of the images, the scrolling is really sluggish. Even on my powerful MacBook Pro, I cannot scroll down without any hiccups. A combination of practical and theoretical learning. 15% theory, 30% case studies, 20% insight from experts. It doesn't sound much practical for me. It sounds like you will listen and read most of the time. There's no mention of actually taking any action. For example, create your own project and validate it with the experts. For example, the practical part could be about executing your own business idea and then validating with those co-founders that are part of the Power MBA. That will be a very valuable life lesson. But I guess for a mere introducing price of $890, that will be too much to ask. Because actually the time of those co-founders are maybe a million times more valuable than the price you pay for the program. So. It was just a suggestion. So as you can see, the PDF is just a marketing material. There's nothing insightful that you would not get from their homepage. So don't bother with downloading the PDF, which essentially is just a lead magnet that helps them to collect your email address. That's all. So those were my first impressions from going to the homepage of the Power MBA program. And I will repeat it again. I think this uh, online education program for its price might be useful for someone who has not touched a business book in their lives, who is afraid to take action on their own and who wants to spoon feed the theories, frameworks and knowledge and who likes to get his handhold by feeding them with 15 minutes videos about the most trendy business ideas. But for others who don't fear to take the actions, I think if you have close to $1,000, it's much better to invest in your business idea just create a web page which cost from 10 to 50 dollars pay 200 dollars for creating a web page spend next 300 dollars on content and put the rest into facebook ads that way you will know if your idea succeeded or not in a matter of weeks so that's all from my side if you like this video write in the comment below what do you think about online mba education don't forget to like subscribe and see you in the next video